Hey folks, Eric Rida here, Director of Historic Preservation at Historic Deerfield. Um, this is my third video on the evolution of uh, nails that were used in early New England architecture. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, I recommend you do. It'll help put this one in a context. Um, so in this video, I'm talking about uh, wire nails. Um, wire nails, uh, they date the they date back to actually the early 19th century. They were a, a French invention. I um, believe they, they were, uh, first patent for them was say 1816 or so in France, but they really, uh, they didn't show up here being used uh, in an architectural sense uh, until say, I think it was uh, 1883, the, the first nails start to get used. Uh, they were used a bit earlier for uh, in uh, furniture manufacture and uh, box making, things like that. But in buildings, we, we start to see them pop up at the uh, 1880s, 1890s here. Um, what sets these nails apart from um, uh, previous nails, a uh, big, big detail is that th these nails right, right from the jump were made of steel. Uh, cut nails, wrought nails were, were manufactured out of iron, um, but by the 1880s with the uh, introduction and, and, and um, sort of perfection of the Bessemer process, um, steel's being used for the, the wire that these are fashioned out of. The way these were manufactured, um, the, the raw material was basically a wire coil, steel, steel wire coil that was um, drawn into a machine through a pair of uh, pair of rollers, basically, the the wire would be uh, brought into the machine. It was uh, sheared, headed in one action. Uh, the end was basically um, pinched or cut with a set of uh, uh, V-nosed pliers to create the um, the tapered point to it. Um, then it would be, uh, you know, spit out into a bin. Um, that bin of nails would be taken, mixed with sawdust, thrown into these huge cylinders called um, rumblers, which would tumble those nails um, and, and sawdust together, would brighten them up, and um, uh, and then they would be put into uh, casks and uh, shipped out. Um, early versions of these nails so when you when you you know look at a, a wire nail um, some of the characteristics of the the real early ones are um, again that the head of the nail uh, in relation to its shaft uh, the shaft can be off center um, and uh, so not centered on the, on the head um, that's a real common detail to see in, in these early ones sort of pre uh, 1900. And then also the, the tips of the nails too um, are not perfectly centered. They, so the tip can be a little bit, uh, um, you know, angular when you really, uh, when you take a close look. After say about, you know, 1900 or so, uh, they become real uniform and, uh, and almost nearly impossible to tell apart from, from one another. Um, so there's this kind of a, a narrow window uh, that we can use for, for dating these guys. Um, but by and large, um, uh, you know, if you see these, uh, you're talking about a point some, sometime, say, after the uh, 1880s or so. Um, so there you have it. Um, there, you know, those are your wire nails. Talked about cut nails and um, our wrought nails before, before that. Um, and next I'll start talking about um, uh, hardware such as latches and hinges, things like that. So tune in for those. Thanks for watching.